I've noticed that a lot of these funerals is always the same characters that beat it. First, you got Shonda and them. These are the chicks that think that a funeral is an opportunity to stun on everybody. You showing up with a skin tight patent leather pink outfit like a big tongue walking up and down with your cleavage out. This is a funeral, not backstage at a Hot 97 concert, boo. Then you got the fake friend that makes a beeline right for the girlfriend of the nigga that died. Talking about, friend, you know, the infamous rock hug, the joint that last, you just rock it for Mad Law. Oh, my man, that's my brother, man. That's my brother. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then you got MC, look at me. The dude that's trying to be seen because he came solely just to bag chicks. Him is 1998 BMW making mad noise in front of the funeral home. Like, hey, 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 how you doing? Everybody, anybody got a ride? You got a ride? Anybody got, Shonda, <laughs> Shonda, what's up, girls? Y'all got a ride? Y'all coming with me? Oh, hey, hey, little Trevor, how you doing? Your mom's here, she came in. You got the guest of honor, the dead guy, Jesse P, in the casket, like. There's always one female that's just over dramatic. The casket is being lowered down ashes to ashes, and here she go, Lord, no! And she jumps on top of the casket like a surfboard and starts getting sturdy on the fucking casket. Like, start getting lit on the casket. Jesse P in the casket, like, Yo, what the fuck, get off, what are you doing? And then you got his fake friends that never liked him anyway. But if you have been to one, a hood funeral, I'm sure you've seen some of these characters. That's it.